Honestly, the worst part of my life lately. This made my whole year. I can't put into words. I'm just crying. I said, I said, thank you. <laughs> We're running, G's. Mm -hmm. Oh, awkward. <laughs> okay, episode one twenty three. Wait, one twenty five. You're so stupid. Isn't it one twenty four? You're yeah, not 124. Too. It's 124. <laughs> episode 124. 123 was last week. Oh. Yeah, that was with the fire audio. Yeah. Yeah. Episode 124, sponsored by patreon.com slash Timbo Sugar Show and the sugar shop.co. Get his new hoodies, get his new jerseys, new shirts, um, fucking little crop tops for your girls. Show some underboob. Mm. Um, UFC under recap. Boob. Fucking A's, dude. Who Derek fought? Lewis. Oh, yeah. With the fucking upper. My balls was hot. Dude, that's that's so crazy because overall, who's a better fighter? It's hard to say. Technically, who's more well-rounded, who's just a better athlete, who's a better all-around fighter is yeah. Curtis. Did and you, it takes... Did you listen hear Derek say, I, I didn't care what happened. I knew he was going to shoot and I was going to throw an uppercut and knock him. I didn't care how long it took. His whole game plan was to throw an uppercut oh, when he shot, and sweet. he landed and knocked him out. I it, didn't like the two extra blows. Boom. Oh. Like, well, why? You fucking he walk off, and it ball. happens like Anderson and Bisping, and then it's like this whole different thing. It's like... Dude, you know... Well... Sometimes you hit motherfuckers, and they come back, too. They're out, and then they come back, too, but he just Derek went, Lewis knows when he knocks dude. someone out. He knows when someone's knocked For out. For real. And it doesn't take... I mean, that split second... Of just checking. Was Curtis talking shit for that fight or something? I think just like building like normal he's, shit. Yeah, he's always gotten uh, talk shit talked about him that he's not entertaining. So I think he's yeah. probably trying to talk some shit. But there's two extra blows. It's different when it's a little dude like me. Maybe two extra little cha cha. Those are fucking like getting hit in the head with a hammer. Boom, boom. That's it was scary. sick how he threw that uppercut. It looked like he like didn't really aim for his head. It looks like he just threw it at his chest and then fucking ran into it, dude. <sighs> That was nasty as fuck. What other what other fights were on there? What was the co main? Jakar. No, it was uh No, he's on there the though. Girls fight? Macy? No. Macy? <laughs> Macy? <laughs> Jakar's fight got canceled the day of COVID. Someone tested and that so they tested negative for COVID. They I think they had three tests or whatever, two or three tests. Negative, negative, day of the fight, positive the next day, negative. Oh my god. <laughs> And then Jamal Emmers, Chaz Skelly, walked out, was in the cage, and then Jamal Emmers didn't walk out because he had back spasms. That's How, crazy. Dude, huh? you make it through COVID, you make it through all this shit, and yeah. you can't walk out because you're you in the cage. Or you're in the cage waiting for Thomas Almeida, and you're like, all right, let's go. All right. I'd the fight try. is not happening. I would have just went streaking just to get some or do kind a of sick attention. celebration. Like, <sighs> like Chuck Liddell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a girl. I missed that Coop. one. That was the co-main. I missed that one. Yeah. Damn it. Did you guys watch the one before the co-main, the Charles Rosa, Derek Minner? That Damn. was a sweet fight. Was it? I didn't even see that fight. That was a fucking grapple fight. Who won that fucker? The Derek Minner kid. Pure grappling. Pure, really? pure, pure. Damn. Did you watch Chris take out Alexis Olenek? Yeah. I saw that. I was going for Alexis by fucking mounted Ezekiel. <laughs> that motherfucker's athletic. Watch his top finishes on YouTube. Out. Uh -huh. <laughs> It was so sweet. You got it. I love when they pop up just random shit. Uh, uh, Aljamain Sterling finishes popped up the other day. Got some sweet finishes. It's popping in and out when you're holding it right there, just like on that one. I oh shit! My what up? Did you scroll down a little bit? Damn, what was what was? I need glasses. These little paws break from my face. Wall. Poor Andre. Oh no, that's the Much one I was better. talking about. That Tom Asmol when he choked out Andre. That motherfucker's pretty athletic. Would well, you just call him Tom? What? Tom Aspinwall. You just said asswall. <laughs> um, 30 how's it, 20? Jesus how's it been God. dialing in for your fight camp? I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm dialing in. What's the biggest difference between not fight camp? Gaming, dude. I miss gaming. Is that what it is? Gaming or diet? I don't mind the... Well, diet's tough just because like, I smoked last night and, well, fuck. Shayla and I had a little bit of that syrup. Uh-huh. 50 minutes later, we're like, I don't really feel it. 
Oh, wait, no, it's Shayla. Shayla, Shayla. A little scissor up. No, it's you. It's all right. Then, it's all right. <laughs> it's life. I had a little serve, and then I fucking, I'm like, I didn't really feel it, so I took a little rip off my vape, and then they fucking hit me at the same time, and I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, I'm sweating, and I'm starving. So I just get real hungry, so I just couldn't snack, but diet and gaming, I mean, I don't mind the diet, though, because I know how good I feel when I eat good. Like, I trained hard as fuck. Two practices Monday, two practices Tuesday. Um, and I'm pretty fucking sore today, but I also feel pretty fucking good because I'm sleeping and eating. Yeah, I was expecting you to be fucking shot this morning. Because I did hard sprints Tuesday morning and then wrestled. But I feel pretty good. We got sparring later today. What was your workout like with Takino? Um, yes, the the lab, it was... I didn't I didn't check the Facebook message, but oh. it was fine because I had a fight coming up anyway. So it was a super small group. It was me, Mario... Kyler, Marcus, um, that Abdul, mm -hmm. or uh, what was that name? Did a bunch of people show up, and then Crouch was like... A bunch of people were trained in the other room. There was a small oh, okay. group of us. And then... And uh, Takino was in there, too. And, Tank, and me and Tank literally drilled for an hour. Two, two and twos. twos. Against the wall. Get ups against the wall. Start on your back, and then just kind of go from there. But just make sure you're doing the right shit. It was fucking money training. Fuck yeah. But dude, dude gaming... I watch, I still watch, I'll pop on your stream if you're streaming, I'll watch like uh, Huskers or Mercs or Aiden or fucking, you know, I'll watch some of their YouTube shit, fucking swag, but. It's dude, fun, dude. It's it make, fun. It's, <sighs> when you're dropping in, that first drop, and you're just fucking, all right, boys, let's focus up. Dude, you all, on your stream, every, not every time, but a lot of time, you, you say, let's, let's get focused, let's focus. get focused. And like, right when you land at Superstore, you're I like, Schmitty, would you fuck Paige? I'm like, dude, you can't focus. say shit like that. <laughs> You got to focus. You lose. Dude, I'm it's like, crazy. It takes me literally an hour and a half to get warmed up on that game. Yeah. I swear to God, an hour and a half till I'm starting to hit my shit. That's why I just jump. That's why I just jump into resurgence now. And it takes me a couple warm. games and I love that shit. I love that shit. But yeah, I've been missing gaming. But I can't. I, 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 she's like, why don't you game room? We're just a little bit going here. I'm like, I only have a certain amount of energy. I release a lot of chi, a lot of energy when I'm gaming, when I'm streaming, mental focus, and I'm just letting that energy be recovery towards my muscles, because fucking I'm burned out that first practice, when I go game, and then go try to practice hard again, I'm like, fuck, I don't have enough juice in the tank. Yeah, and putting it, just... putting that mental energy into your workouts instead of in the game. And... So, it's been going good, though. I fucking, I tweeted yesterday about fight camp. So usually, because usually we'll train in the mornings, go home and game and then train again in the nights or whatever. But now you're training in the morning, going home. What is your routine usually like? It's just kind of, it's not very good. I've been, I've been training in the morning, going home. Um, depends if Danny's at work or not. She, she only works Monday and Wednesday. So she, usually she'll make me lunch. If not, she, like today she's at work. She prepped my lunch. So I just go, have to go home, warm it up. Um, just been sitting outside a lot. Just, just by Just outside. Yourself. Well, Shayla's been home now. We just sit outside, chill. Um, dude. Taking naps again. Been napping. Fuck. That feels Elena, good. Na oh, dude, it was the best nap ever. But yeah, napping again, chilling outside. <laughs> just not fucking gaming. I've been doing that a little bit now, too. Just going sitting on the hammock. Having, like, a little bit of fucking literally silence times with no <sighs> stimulation. It's hard because that phone's constantly calling me to fucking surf, surf for chicks, mm. whatever. But, dude, sitting there with your own thoughts and having conversations with yourself is, I feel like, so beneficial. Mm -hmm. Especially if you can, like, look at those conversations with that you're having with yourself from the outside and be like, damn, mm -hmm. are those positive? Are those good for me? Yeah. You, I've been writing in the morning again. I kind of, I get, just going and sit now. I have a little chair outside in the sun. Fuck. It's nice. Just writing down those thoughts, having conversations with what yourself. What kind of, like, stuff do you write down? Talk about the day. About the fight, your emotions up. during the day, what you felt, yeah, for how I things. slept, um, just like be grateful, little things like that, just yeah. reminders, be grateful today. Um, it's nice, but I have uh, dude, I got that that tufted needle bed I got. That's what we have. It's so fucking nice, dude. Yeah. When did you with just the get chili one? pad? Yeah, like couple weeks ago we just didn't set it up because i didn't i thought i didn't have a bed frame big enough for a california king what's a bed frame but compared the, to a bed frame there's a king bed frame and california king bed frame oh okay. you know what i mean yeah i have a california king <laughs> but dude the gay thing i mean <gasps> homosexual thing <laughs> homosexual <laughs> <-ing>. <laughs> <laughs> but dude the california king is this much longer than the king not That's wider what we have. 
not wider, longer. I'm like, what the fuck was the point in getting this? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, unless it's supposed to go the other way, but <laughs> then my feet would be hanging off. <laughs> that's weird if that's the truth, because I thought... But I've never gotten a new mattress in my life, and the one we were using was literally 10 years or older. No wonder you sleep like shit. Now I sleep good. <laughs> it's fucking nice, dude. Uh. I, t- I told fake people to, not, to bet on Thomas on Night of this fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Don't bet on me. Bet on Thomas on <laughs> Like, dude, why, why is everyone talking so much shit about me and I'm still the favorite? It's like, don't bet on me then. Yeah, for sure. Well, because he's coming off a couple losses. Dude, yeah, his losses are to good motherfuckers. Yep. Jimmy Rivera, Cody Garbrandt, that fucking last kid he fought's good. Like, yep. he's lo- only lost to good motherfuckers. So I, everyone probably saw, well, Big Gary V posting that he's teaming up with you guys. Yeah, Team Chicky Shane. Damn, what was it like chatting with Gary V? He's, he's, he was a cool guy. He's he smart, well-articulated, obviously. He can talk really fucking good. Yeah. He can talk really well. He's definitely a smart motherfucker. Um, he, they, he promised to make me a lot of money. I'm like, all right, let's see. Because I've had every single mark managing team reach out to me. I've yeah. had lunch with Connor's team. I've had, you know, I've, I've talked to everybody. No um, other spiels. But uh, and everyone's good at talking and everyone at right then and there, you're like, oh, this thing's right. Yeah. But I always I slept on it. To, I told Gary, I'm like, I'll, I'll think about it. I slept on it. And I'm like, this makes sense. I think this this feels right. I have really nothing to lose. Yeah. I'm only gonna pay them when they make me money, which is obviously how managing works, but yeah. It seemed right. It seemed good a good fit. Um like I said, nothing to lose if it doesn't work out in a couple months, but all right. But I think I think it's a good fit. Gary seems like I think it's just a, it makes sense. And that's really why you can't have like too many guys that are doing that that you're not signed with because you don't want the same managers hitting up the same company yeah. or different managers hitting up the same company and they're like, well, I thought yeah. you worked with them. Because yeah. I was like, why can't you just have a fuckload of managers and you don't sign with <laughs> any of them? Whoever gets you the deal, you pay them. Yeah. But then they're all hitting up those companies and shit. So what do you think like – if you're lacking, obviously, anything physically or mentally in the UFC, it's eventually going to get exposed. Mm-hmm. Don't you agree? Yeah. Will you pull up, Dana, all the list of like previous champions? Even if it's 135 or 145, 155. It's crazy. But then even if you have everything physically and mentally, still, still you get still fucking lose. whopped one. and then you Whopped? Wet ass pussy? Yeah. You just yeah. get whopped right in the fucking jaw. <laughs> Oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> all the fuck the champions. Oh, these are all the these champions right the now. Ones, yeah. You know it's gonna be crazy if like Peter. Say Fran- say Francis won-, won the championship. Uh John Jones light heavyweight. Israel midi middleweight. Kamaro Usman. Um and then who at fifty five is just a black shredded freak athlete. <laughs> um at 55 there's not really is there in the top five i'm sure there is but but dude they're all gonna be these freak super athletes and then it's gonna be you hey. <laughs> dude, be we got sweet, some dog everyone keeps asking about my hair and i'm like i don't know if it's too damn i don't know but we dude we're doing something sweet for the hair we, we got we got an idea we got something coming just perma frying it just fucking shaving <laughs> just it. just damaging it so I'm bad i'm gonna shave my head and danny's gonna dip me in the a bucket of paint <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You'll just have the same clown colors, but with a cul-de-sac. Right that actually here. looks sick. <laughs> you look crazy. I wouldn't fuck with you. <laughs> I don't think yeah. These are the heavyweights in order. Randy, Barnett, Randy, Rico Randy, Rico Dude, I didn't even Rodriguez, watch fighting Tim when Randy Sylvia. Couture was fighting, or Tim Sylvia, or Frank Mir. Andre Arlovsky still does. <sighs> I forgot. No, Garrow was champ at a point. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, see, I never watched. That's crazy. Shane Carwin, Junior Dos Santos. Before Dominic, who was the 35 champ, he was the first, or was he the first? No, it wasn't. Um... Yeah, you're right. I oh, think yeah, he was. Okay, yeah. I, was Dominic, he the first? Dominic, Hennenbrow, Hennenbrow, TJ, Dominic, Cody, oh, TJ. Hen- Damn, there hasn't been that many champs. Oh, it's a WEC, but either way. That's, yeah. I think, yeah, that was the last Dude, WEC I'm so in curious. Glendale. How does TJ not have a fight book, dude? You're out for two years, and he still doesn't have something booked? Is he scared? I doubt it. Maybe it's so though. hard to say. Maybe he is scared, scared, dude. I doubt it, he, dude. Look at he's, who he's training with. Yeah, I mean, killers. But still, it's like, why don't you have something booked? Or the whole, all the, depends too. Like, 
was he literally on that EPO? Obviously not for one fight. Was he on it for all of well, his Well, did fights? you listen to Cody talk about the testing? Like, they don't test for EPO. Yeah. Hardly. He said the Athletic Commission tested tested him, which is weird. Yeah. USADA didn't catch him. So people could still be on EPO. For sure. Fuck. He all gets crazy. tested again. He's like, fuck. That's crazy. The commission tested him for that, though. Because it's but still. expensive as fuck, is what they were saying. Dude, he probably can't train near as much. He's going to have to... Hit- probably go to a sports psychologist and talk to them and like get that confidence and swagger back if he can't train as hard as he used to be able to how or long he's was not he on- and he's still just good as fuck and he's just got a little bit less cardio and he's still training with killers and doing good yeah like knows he's got just three fives probably or will it be five some people are just free cardio like he might not even have needed that yeah well who knows we'll see we'll- We'll see. What are you guys? Are you guys watching anything on Netflix? Three percent. What is that? It's just a show about like three percent of people that make it of the offshore and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty decent. Oh my pretty, god! See, that just sounds way too mature for me. New and exciting. <laughs> Anthony Pettis on leaving UFC for the PFL. And he, dude, PFL is gonna be kind of fucking sweet. Fuck yeah, it is, dude. Like, I'm, it's gonna be another fun kind of little thing to watch. Yeah, I think so too. I'm still still jacked for March 6 card, dude. Oh god, it's gonna be so. So sweet, next week dude. gonna have a sparring group with Kyler Phillips, Casey Kenny, Mario Bautista. I know, but Kino they all leave there. Tuesday. They all leave Tuesday. My yeah. fuck, but that's okay. We still have good partners, mm-hmm. like that, really good fucking partners. That black kid fucking gonna be good partner. Yeah, he's dude. a good partner. He's way faster than Thomas. Oh, 100 percent. And then we yeah, there's we, there's still plenty. Yeah, Marcus Talon, fucking what's that kid's name? Abdul. Yeah, He's God, up. this is going to be a sick card, dude. I'm so pumped to see Islam Makachev keep climbing the ranks and seeing if he can take Habib's place. Oh, him, he's fighting Habib's cousin in Bellator. 11 and 0. Damn, I saw that on the group chat. Fuck yeah. Dude, this card is so stacked. It's going to be sweet. We got to we gotta get together for this one. We never do, but let's just do it for let's this do it, one. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm getting blacked. <laughs> I'll get blacked, I'll get blacked. I'll get blacked. Okay. Song Yidong. Um, Kai Kai. Kai Kara France. Kyler's been looking like a fucking savage, dude. Dude, his Casey's fight. always a fucking beast, but yeah, Kyler's Kyler's looking good, dude. Oh, I'm excited for that fight. I feel like he he's gonna fuck Song up. Just two ex- songs young. How fucking good Kyler's been sparring. How how old is Song? Twenty one or something. Twenty two. Twenty three. Twenty three. That was my next guess. Crazy. <laughs> um. You guys been watching anything good on Netflix, Jay or Dana? Dude, we started this show called The Undoing. You got to check it out. Undoing? It, it's a little bit slow starting, but it just gets fucked up. This like this cancer doctor, he's, he's a da- uh, doctor for cancer kids who have cancer, mm-hmm. and he saves them. Just good fucking guy. Has this hot wife. She's loaded too. Oh, yeah, I've seen a couple he of ends up days. cheating on her with one of his- What? He, no, cheating on her with one of his um, patients. Moms? One, yeah, moms. Good job. And then the, the mom gets, starts to go crazy. Starts to like be, no, be fucking crazy. Oh. And then he goes and fucks her one night. And then after he leaves. Spoiler. Her husband comes in and kills her. Ooh. I, we think. We don't know yet. Smashes her fucking brains. And now. So I don't have to watch the show anymore? Watch it, dude. Well, I already it's know good. what happens. You'll be like, holy shit, that poor fucking it's guy. It's only one season. But it could be him who murdered her still, so you don't really know. It's really good. Mm. I think. It's on Netflix, I thought? You said? Oh, fucking Prime. You're stupid. HBO Prime. I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> HBO Prime, is that even a thing? No. Dude. Are you dumb, stupid? Are you dumb, stupid? Dude, dude six nine is going to get killed. Dude, he's proof that you don't have to be super talented. You have to just be creative and not give a fuck what people think. And hopefully it catches on, maybe. I feel like he's talented. He's got to be talented. He's been like singing and doing that stuff for like, what, nine, eight years, nine, like a long yeah. time. You gotta his get shit somewhere. gets me fucking pumped. When oh, I first I get- heard his shit, I was like, fuck this. What? This isn't rap. Throw on some Tupac. Just so biased about it. Oh. But then I started catching the feels a little bit. Oh. I think I don't dick ride. I don't. You know I what know. I mean? I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> and it got Are you fucking. Dumb to bed? That's my favorite part. It, dude, he makes you want to fuck people up. I like when he says, don't act dumb because I'm dumber. I'm like, I, re- I feel that. I relate I to that. 
I'm dumb one. There's the truth, dude. But dude, yeah, I think he's dude. He's gonna get. He's 23 or some shit. He's gonna get killed before he's 30, probably. I'm gonna cry. I go to you know. Most people that are like super creative, like <laughs> like him or something, are probably so scared and like scared of being vulnerable to other people's input. So they never fucking just say fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna get tats. I'm gonna do it. or anyone, any creator. Yeah. Anyway. Well, once you're that have that much money too, it's money for whatever reason makes you f- not give a fuck about what other people think in a sense because you're like I have, I'm good. I'm set. I'm not yeah, scared. Yeah, but of- there was a point probably where he wasn't making money. Oh, for sure. Where he's like, but he literally he let loose once he had started getting that cheddar rolling in. Remember that documentary? He was getting like crazy face tats before he was rich, like just for that view factor. To get rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just thinking of a Speaking fall. of, I need to get another one, huh? I'm, I got a little something scheduled, I think. Do you really? Yeah. Face? Yeah. Holy shit. You get a bitch or something on my face. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, whatever. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> you guys having kids yet? Or? Fuck, dude. We ha- having a couple scares here and there. That one scare. Um, so I want to hear your opening line on Tinder. That's not a fucking, me, Danny. That's a hard thing. Art won't show Mariah and I his bio. He's too embarrassed. Nah, it. it's probably so fucking gay. But he gets chicks to come over on Tinder. He messaged over twenty chicks the other day saying, "Let's hook up," just to see what they. It's get a numbers back. game. Did he, he have that one chicks. chick come over the other day when he was on stream? And he said he was. Oh, I think he smashed her biscuits at the gym. <laughs> I know. Shit. Yeah. Crazy shit. Good. I don't I don't get on Tinder that much though. Like realistically. Yeah. Not every day for sure. See, I've been trying to grind a little bit more, find a I another Art girl from Ryan and I. Yeah. To like, all right, I can do this. <laughs> well it's like, fuck, all right, I can do this. No shit. It's hard though. It's hard. Fucking you've been having some cuties over at your place. Well, we had the one cute girl come over, hung out, just hung out. She was cool. But we'll see where it goes. Making friends and shit. Yeah, she yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we didn't even talk about it at all, what happened in Texas, though. Mm. I didn't even know until fucking... When was that? Did you see all the conspiracy shit about, like, the snow not melting and all that? <gasps> They're, like, saying that, like, the government was, like, making a snowstorm and shit. Just people, like, putting in the microwave and it's, like, exploding inst- instead of melting. What the? Yeah. I don't know. Dude, yeah, fill me in. I didn't know about this until I think you and Dave or someone So literally the, all the electricity went out, right, Dana? Yeah, like a huge power failure. Um, I don't know how big it was, though. Obviously, Texas is massive. If that happened in AZ in the summer, we would be fucked. If it happened for a month. Yeah. One month and 105, 110 out. I'd sleep in the cold plunge. You'd be fucked. But the cold plunge would get hot. No, it wouldn't. It's insulated for cold. It would stay chill. It would stay a little. I mean, After a week, it would be warm. It'd be cooler than outside. It wouldn't be 110. I bet it'd be... Ni- yeah, you're probably right. It'd probably be, Not what, 90? Because right. mm. eventually water will heat up Dude, to how hot it is outside. Shayla water. and I did the cold plunge yesterday, and there was ice in it. Mm-hmm. And I was just sitting... For three minutes, sitting on this piece of ice. My fucking butt cheek was so numb after. Dude, three minutes is ex- impressive. I think it's... I had two hours and 40... Two hours and 40 minutes of deep sleep last night. Shayla oh, did it too. Dude. But I think... I think my... I slept so good because that cold... I shower, take a hot shower, and get out, and I'm still like have my core temperature Dude, pretty chilly. There's something about that cold because I've been plunging again too. Mariah last night, she hasn't plunged for so so long, and the plunge is at 32 degrees, huge mm-hmm. ice blocks in it, and she got in it for the first time. You could tell how scared she was, and I was going like this, oh. and she looked at me. She's like, "Fuck!" And I was like, "What was going through your head?" She's like, "Did she just get dunk? the fuck out?" She's like, "I almost stopped." But there's that's weird. There's a conversation in your head going. One saying, get the fuck out. But there's another counter one saying, no, stay in, stay in. This is good for me. I think that's what mental toughness is. Yeah. Being able to sure. counter that shit. Mm. Gee, remember your first time doing the cold? <laughs> I never want to get in. You kind of do, though. Uh, I'd rather not. But I, I mean, at this point, I guess it's different. In fight camp, it's like, okay, this is going to be so good for me. Yeah. Because now my my plunge is right out my sliding door or arts plunge. Get in it. I already have the hot um, hot shower going. And it's, dude, I feel good after. Mm. It's fucking nice shit, dude. 
Much of the Texas power grid collapsed, followed by its water systems. Tens of millions huddled in a frigid homes that slowly grew colder or fled for safety. And a prideful state, long suspicious of regulation and outside help, was left to seek it from others, CK. other states, and humanitarian groups. As many as it's 29 people grasped for survival. 29 million, survival. bud. 29 million people. <laughs> 29? Damn, that's Grasped crazy. for survival? <laughs> That's, That's fucking weird, epic. dude. Well, I mean, cause do do gas stations not work? Can you drive somewhere well, else? Yeah, like literally all the electricity was shut off. But they they have gas ice storms like every work. year, so I mean, it's not anything new. It's just like a like a bigger storm. Yeah. Yeah. So. But move to Texas. But no, gas stations don't work. Fuck no. You can't get the last couple little squeezes of gas in your in your Prius. Fuck if you get the machine to work with your card. <laughs> It's like, holy oh, shit, yeah. man. Dude, fucking taxes, literally. I don't want to hear I it. was pissed off about it yesterday because I'm like, I'm letting this affect my entire mood. Yeah. What's my attachment? My attachment was fucking taxes. That's why I don't deal off. with them because I'll get annoyed by it too. Dude. I have my mom do them and like St. with bills, like <clears throat> the birth and all that, like the b- big bills. I just have my mom deal with them. That's lucky, dude. Well, I'm, I'm lucky to have Mariah's mom kind of helping me figure it out too we have a meeting with this accountant next week but i'm like dude for the business for my shit for then the podcast and then it's like you need the s3745 form i know you go and get it and i went to the bank to get it and they're like what we don't have those forms here he's defined i don't know and then you try to print them off on the internet and it's hard to find and shit it's fucking annoying hopefully in a couple years got it dialed in and i don't fucking have to get pissed off about it yeah 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 i feel that because then it's, then they're saying it's like well it'd be easier if you get you just get married you get a lot of tax benefits and i'm like what if in 10 years down the road i'm like i don't really we both kind of maybe we don't want to be together mm-hmm. now it's a huge fucking pain in the ass to get divorce like any yeah. fucking divorce for real for real man but you know me i'm married i love my i love danny more than you love mariah so yeah yeah for sure that's why i'm married God, but it, isn't, that, that, isn't that weird though? You can be with someone for that long and you can't just split up and it's okay to split up. Remember we were talking about it's religion. religion. That is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, I think. It's, yeah, religion, basically. Mm. Is that where marriage came from, is religion? I think so. <laughs> in my studies? I, that's what I do. <laughs> Honestly, in my studies of the Bible? In what, in what I believe. Tim Bone Sugar. I'm in the middle of the book Awareness. Oh, At first, I thought it seemed very pessimistic. But the more I read, the more I comprehend the message. Can you give examples of how you use lessons from awareness in your everyday life? Dude, that book is so good. Shayla, you read through it a little bit. Shayla read The Mastery of Love and then went reread it and highlighted it. That book, dude. That's nice. Wish I would have done that at that age. I know. But uh, awareness book. For me, it helps remind me when when my i'm expecting a certain thing whether it's from mariah or anyone and it doesn't happen not letting mm-hmm. them doing something affect my mood and now i'm pissed off because you made me pissed off i'm like no 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 i shouldn't be pissed off you know what i mean yeah for that that's that's what i'd say too probably not letting someone else's thoughts or actions make me feel a certain way and i think it comes down uh, the, the best way i think about it is in a relationship if danny wanted and it's always kind of like I make it up in my head to see how I would feel. If Danny want, said, hey, I want to go out on a date with a guy, how would that make me feel? And why would that make me feel a certain way? And it shouldn't eventually make me feel that way. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's just the jealousy kind of feeling. But, yeah, not letting other people's actions or thoughts yeah. or whatever make you feel a certain way. Even – similar jealousy to like mariah and how much time she spends on the horses i'm like mm. that's her fucking thing if i can't sit there and be happy by myself she spends 90 percent of her time with the horses so you guys have dinner that's about it we have dinner wake up have coffee hang out a little bit that's about so you guys it. hang out not counting jujitsu probably a max an hour a day hour and a half a day maybe but that means you get some duty time. At least it Art works there out hangs good. out with you. That's that's what I'm saying. It works out good. If she didn't have that that passion, I don't know how long. Who knows? She's with you all day, all you day, start, every day, pow, 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 jabbing her up. A little she's bit. bitching when I game. She's bitching when I go to the gym. She's bitching when I go lift or something. It probably wouldn't oh, work out. Nothing you know the worse when they start bitching when you're gaming. It's like this is work. I'm streaming. Mariah hasn't bitched once when I'm gaming. Well, she can't. 
Well, well, what do you mean? You have an hour and a half to do something you want to do during the day. Yeah. Like, how could she? Yeah, for sure. Especially when you when there's potential it could turn into a well mon- streaming money. money. I mean, you technically work and you get subs. It's, it's, yeah, it's good for your soul <laughs> for sure. But other than that, in the awareness book, that's probably the the big one for me. Yeah, there's there's just so many. There, like that's a hard question because there's so much yeah. in that book. And not looking at anyone else. I don't need anyone to make me happy. That's yeah, that's on me. Yeah, for sure. What's up, gang? Love your podcast and growth overall since this journey. Watch Sugar Fight since the Ultimate Fighter days. Didn't fight in the Ultimate Fighter. Fight IQ on point. <laughs> I get that literally really? so much. I'm like, what? <laughs> but I still love you, brother. How's the transition now with having a baby? Has the motivation gotten any stronger, if anything, stronger since? Both in practice and outlook for your career. Dude, I don't. I feel like I get asked that a lot. I mean, I don't. It doesn't. I don't feel more motivated to go train, or more motivated to win fights, or more motivated to do anything because of the baby. I just don't have. Yeah. Um, it's just. It's there. It was there before the baby. It's not. You know what I mean? It doesn't I don't feel like. My well, I think a lot of people. Not a lot of people, but I guess. But a lot of people look at a kid and it's like, okay. Now I got to start saving for this kid's college fund. I need to have a hundred grand in the bank for the kids' tuition in college now, and then all this stuff. I'm like, um, you ain't going to Manchi school, B. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I get asked that a lot though, and I always feel like I should say, "Oh God, oh, I'm inspired, <laughs> motivated." But I just, it's like it's it's there anyway. It was there before she was born? Yeah. Like I don't know, but yeah. So are you gonna when she, when it comes time? Obviously, you probably haven't even thought about it yet. But like, is there nice schools around you? Oh God! It'd be sweet if there's school a school of show, baby. <laughs> That's cool. That's it. That's Color it. in the between the lines ish. Teaching how to sign my shit signature, my signature. Teach the, uh, ABC, teach the ABCs. A D C L M B D. <laughs> oh, I'm for. No, I I think uh. I'm gonna let Danny probably take control of that that whole situation. But yeah, if we can find a Steiner school, something like that. Um, depends if Danny's gonna want to end up homeschooling a little bit, and then uh, the gym will be her socializing. I don't know. That's that's fucking. <laughs> yeah. Too far down the line. Well, I was the gym for sure. But I was like, dude, I was telling Mariah about the tax thing. I'm like, why don't we just make it a church, the Church of Jiu Jitsu, and the donations one hundred and fifty dollars a month. <laughs> I don't think you'd say that. I think what te- do you people mean? could technically come train. Them. Yeah, why couldn't you do that? I don't know. I, I'll I like preach. Like That's what I'm saying. I have an outfit, like a, a preacher outfit. Like a, uh, Just wear your thing. gi. That's the preacher outfit. The gi in your belt. Well, while you guys are rolling, I'll read scriptures that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. But yeah, I don't know. You couldn't. I mean, fuck. It's no different than a church. Hundred percent. You probably get better lessons there than you get from the church. Baptize people every once in a while. It's mm-hmm. fun. Baptize them the and cold just plunge. beat their ass. <laughs> no, we dunk them in the cold plunge. Oh yeah, that would be good. You might have to become a preacher, but like, what do you do to become a preacher? Just fill out a. You have to go to school. Wait, maybe you already what? are because you're the teacher. Yeah, where do you go to school to be a preacher, uh, or is it just school. a little fifteen minute course? <laughs> Can anyone open up a church? I think you have to read the Bible bubbles. Oh, I read the Bible. God, I watched Trailer Park Boys again last night, and Tim just reminds me of Bubbles so much. I wish you had those glasses, dude. <laughs> What's up, I'm boys? Ricky. I'm in Chicago right now. Really stoked to move to Phoenix next year. Want to dive straight in to a gym where I can train striking and BJJ. At the same time, we don't have a lot that of that up here. I'm going to separate Muay Thai and BJJ gyms. Where should I get started if I'm going to Scottsdale? Dude, I was just thinking in Texas, imagine that happening and not being able to game. I'd freak out. I'd Do freak fucking out. phones work? They can't charge. A, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Like, I mean, do the phone lines the go sat- down? Aren't they from the satellites, though? Mm-hmm. Like, the LTE and stuff like that? Don't people have, like, backup fucking Generators? Yeah, maybe. You'd be pumped if you had a generator. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> a true You forgot route. to fill it up with gas, though. You're like, fuck. <laughs> but, uh, Scottsdale... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. 
Scottsdale, there's a gym. There's a couple gyms. Tiago's gym for jiu-jitsu if you want to be there. And then there's the Golden Era Muay Thai. I think that's in Scottsdale. Um, how's your weight, Sean? I didn't check today. I was 154.8 yesterday. So, like 20 pounds. I was 2019. <sighs> yeah, it's so much different. It's not really that much different, but it's quite a bit different. It's training for a striking fight style fight yeah but dude the most tiring workouts i feel like are the workout we did on monday mm -hmm. i have a fresh guy there warmed up i'm holding pads for sean random do have him come in and do live hard scenarios so sean's hitting the map in the mitts really hard getting tired and then some fresh guy comes in and fucking starts grinding on him. Shoots double. those workouts are so tiring yeah. dude they're, they're they simulate the best out of that's not sparring they simulate the best uh cardio like toward the fight yeah Cause you hit mitts and then you're fucking have to grapple and then you after you grapple you have to hit mitts again. I was like, God, I just want to chill. Did you see that Miley Pyr Cyrus post I sent you? Miley Pyrus post, yeah. Yeah. I love Miley. Dude. I've loved her Santana Montana. Like for so long. I hope we can be something. <laughs> she's fucking hot, dude. She's, she's real cute, hot. Not hot. Have you ever seen her little sister? I mean, she's like Noah, nineteen, but yeah, she's pretty bad too. Noah Siren? Yeah, she is hot. Did you see Chris D'Elia's vid? Uh, I watched a little bit of it. I was just kind of waiting for goofiness, and it didn't. You happen. didn't watch the whole thing? No. Fuck, dude. Was it good? I wouldn't say it was. One hundred twenty-four million. Is that what that says? Yeah. Jesus Christ, boo! Damn, she just posted that one. Smoking a stoey. God, how's that baby girl so fine, She's so dude? so cute. It's fucking brutal. <laughs> hey, Miley. But no, Chris D'Elia was saying how he was just at his shows like a sex addict and stuff. Just It was so easy to fuck girls. And you can see where he's coming from. So easy to just message girls. They come to the room and fuck them all the time. So he's probably just... But he didn't talk about That's anything that about video. the underage thing. And I thought that was the issue about the whole thing. just kept saying everything was consensual. Do with that what you please. Like that's, Yeah. That's kind of Fuck, whatever. Dude. Were you saying that girls would DM him every, every state that he would go to? He would just reply like, come to my hotel. Oh, yeah. God, that's fucking gangster. Yeah, that's, I didn't watch that video. Because you got bitches that you're just like saying, get away. Huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Getting in here this morning was tough. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Miley shaking her little butt on that motorcycle. Yeah, she knows how to fucking just tease. Tease the D. Jesus, that's crazy. Yeah, it's brutal how hot she is for sure. Go up. That's from isn't, though, isn't the new uh, Warzone fucking thing coming, the update coming this week? Dude, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know much about Warzone. I watch YouTube videos randomly. <laughs> yeah. But like, I don't, I don't know. I, every time I go game on the weekend, they update it because I don't fucking. It's fucking crazy me when I'm just surfing around on Twitch a little bit. The people that have randomly twenty thousand people watch them and they're doing like, yeah, dumb shit. It's fucking crazy. People, it's crazy that people go like that. Mike Maljack, uh huh, being called or not Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, uh -huh. hanging out with a group of friends that are streaming too, and they're just like at a party, standing around in the virtual world, talking yeah. and yeah, it's super What's weird over here. It's fucking <laughs> crazy. Let's go kill that cop. <laughs> I wonder Grand if that was, so that obviously wasn't true that that was their last episode of Impulsive. Yeah, I don't know. I have no he's idea. moving, but they haven't said when he's moving exactly. Dude, I had a dream last night that I went to Jake Paul and Ben Askren's fight. I was at the fight and I was, um, oh, it was so weird. I was hanging out with Jake and I was going to try to give him some tips. Like, hey, Jab, stutter step one, two. Uh -huh. Make sure you stay long. He's going to try to, just like trying to fucking give him advice <laughs> and shit. Funny. It was so weird. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him up after my fight. Say, can I come out to Miami for mm -hmm. the rest of the camp? Let him. Uh, so we'll see what he says. <laughs> I'll probably say yeah. Jake Paul taking fight, dude. I think he's actually gonna win, but I don't know. I want to see some more footage. I bet Freddie Roach is working with Ben Askren. I'm like, oh god. Is that what it? Is that what he? I is? don't. I just heard that. Freddie's probably like, what the fuck? What am dude? I supposed to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just get you walking right first, bud. It's gonna be crazy, and it's gonna be fucking huge views. 
Yeah, I wonder how fat it is. Ma- Macy Barber, when uh, Schmo asked, said, have you seen Jake or uh, Ben hit mitts? And she's kind of like, hey, yeah, he's going to make a lot of money. Because they're training for it. <laughs> oh, That's all she kept saying. Yeah, he's going to make a lot of money. I wonder if he's like making 500 grand flat and then a little piece of the pay-per-view or something. Yeah, I wonder. Probably. Fuck, fat payday either way. Yeah, it's like, gosh, damn it. I haven't seen him hit the mitts or bags or anything. God, I feel bad for him ish. I don't because he knows that he's just going to make a lot of money. Boom. Oh, shit. Actually, Boom. never mind. Boom. Fuck yeah, I'm pumped about that fight too, dude. It's going to be it's it's going to be a fight where we watch it and we're like, "Why were we excited for this?" But dude, it's going to it's going to be exciting, but then it's going to happen and we're like, "God, that was so bad." Some of my favorite fights to watch are like smokers, like shittier guys or shittier amateurs. Yeah, they're just so crazy and all over it's the like place. Jake like Jake my boss them. But dude, I'm so bad at predicting fights, like so bad. <laughs> Anyone who says they're good at predicting fights. Well, some people are because they make bet on fights and make money. So they can be good, but I'll right, see BJ. I feel like in fighting, it's hard to be good at betting and fighting. God, you can just tell he's Stink. he's he's he's, he's fucking starting out. He's well, learning. He's got a good trainer and he's an athlete. Boom. Yeah. You can tell he's like a couple years into training. Yeah. He's not great, but he has potential. Yeah, and for he's, sure. But he's better than fucking Ben. You know that motherfucker's training probably pretty hard too. Yeah, he seems yeah he seems serious about it. I wonder if Ben's too like man. If I get cracked with a hard shot, I'm gonna take a knee and I'm not gonna get up, and I'm still gonna go get the same check. Because he will probably. Yeah. There's not gonna be a show and win. God, it'd be fun to go out there and train, dude, with them. Yeah, it'd be so cool. Just even go watch. Ben. It'd be fun. Uh, Hype him up. Well, it's Ben I Askren. Be ben ben be Askren my... fucking has a whole group of kids he teaches. He has a whole wrestling gym like that's probably behind him. So I don't think he'd go out there and just sit down like no, that and not no. show his he'd heart. He'd rather get knocked out probably. Yeah, I wonder. Well, I don't know. Dude, you know who uh, I watched finishes last night? Uh, Jorge Masvidal. I know you know how sick he is, but I just had to <laughs> get a reminder, dude. He's such a fuck, dude. He's such Everyone a gangster. Everyone plays his new shit, too. His old shit in Strike Force yeah. is even more gangster, I think. When he fought KJ Noons, that's a sweet fucking fight, dude. dude. Just beat the tar out of KJ Noons. Boom. That's kind of like my fucking... Uh, running back. I'm running back. Problem child. It's a sick nickname. Boom. Boom. Yeah. I hope... Me. Crazy. I, wonder, wait, I would love it? to see who are the rematch because that's what they're talking about, I think, isn't it? Jorge versus Kamaru dude, and Jorge. I was watching the highlights of that fight. Jorge looked good, dude. That's what I'm saying. He made that shit fucking pretty, not really close, but he fucking put up a fight on those couple weeks' notice. God, damn, yeah. That was a sweet fight. That was a badass fight. What, uh, can we look at Sugar's card? Are they filling out that card anymore? Um, UFC 260. Dude, I was on UFC 222, UFC 248, UFC 250, UFC 252, UFC 260. It's going to be fun to go back. They're all pay-per-views. I wonder if they do that on purpose because I know I'm a huge draw. <laughs> Damn, looks like I'm on the main card. Figured, but. the Probably the opener, hopefully. Oh, my God, dude. That is got to be the sickest <laughs> card. Yeah, that's a sick card, dude. Tyron Wood, Vicente Luke. I bet they'll add another dope fucking fight. fight to that main card, too. One more. Or tag of Volkanovski. Gonna be super, Jesus, gonna be dude. Tough to get an extra 50. Jeez. 12 and 1. What the fuck? Who did that? <laughs> stupid. Are you dumb, stupid? Keep scrolling a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. That's going to be fucking sweet. Dude, I don't know how Vegas is going to. How are people going to... Everything's still shut down in Vegas, I'm pretty sure. sure. Yeah. What's going to happen to the city, though? You think like, oh, no, nothing's going to happen. It's like, that's how people make their money being open and getting other people's oh. money. Yeah. My roommate's mom <laughs> just traveled there recently, and like, yeah. everything was pretty open for her uh, as far as like what she wanted to go and do. So, I don't know. Casinos <laughs> are make, make and do. Yeah. 
Sean just shit his pants, <laughs> and that's what he thinks funny. No, I didn't. I, I heard did. it. I didn't shit. I just ignored it. Dude, dang, he gave his Gavin Tucker to be a sweet fight. That Gavin Tucker's a fucking beast, dude. So he gave he's a gangster. <laughs> Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad. I've never even seen Leon fight, dude. I don't remember seeing him but fight he's really either. Good. He's pretty sick. Good yeah, for, real, for real. Okay, episode one twenty three, one twenty four. Jesus, are you dumb? Super sponsored by Patreon dot com slash Timbo Sugar Show and the Sugar Shop dot co. Episode one twenty five. Next week, we're trying to find Rick's baby mama. She's fucking crazy. Still Rick find told her, me huh? he was gonna have her there at ten thirty today, or ten to ten thirty today. So I just cruise around, but I don't think Rick honestly knows what day it is. Hard time. That. He's like Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have her here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have you. <laughs> but dude, his little group of buddies down there. His buddies like, hey Rick, where'd you get that six bucks? He said, don't worry about it, motherfucker. <laughs> and then the bum, and then the bum like jumped up, and he's like, no, no, I got her, I got her over here from. And the bum's like, all right. Rick's like, hey, yeah. come meet this guy. Uh, you got to pop by him. Just talk to him sometimes. It's fucking yeah, funny, dude. We'll pop by on the way there. On the way back. But his baby mama, I think she's homeless. I'm like, I want Rick busted a nut, obviously. And they, got, we, a, and like, they got a fucking little one. And What? Running around out there? I don't know where it's at. She was yelling at him the other day, get my fucking baby. <gasps> Rick had a baby? He got, he's got a few. He's got... His sperm work. I don't get how his sperm works. And yours dude. doesn't. And my duds don't work. Well. Okay. Episode 124. Sponsored by patreon.com slash Timbo Sugar Show. See you guys next week. Peace. Yeah.